One, two, three. Boom! It is a morning. I have a flu AF, like. <coughs> And I have a choir performance today, like, how am I going to sing with a sore throat and the snows? Like, this is some shit, serious shit going on. Plus also my goldfish is dead. Like, the fish that I got from my sister for birthday, she's dead. I don't know why, but she is. So, R.I.P. Dory right now. I feel really bad that she's dead. Like, this is so sad. You hear this whistling? Hear this whistling? Oh, you hear this? Right, it's my neighbor training his pigeons. This is so cool. He has pigeons and he's training them. So he's whistling. Like, this is some cool stuff, really. You see them? You see them? These are the pigeons of my neighbor. See? This is so awesome. And he's doing that every single day since I've been living here. And I've been living here for 14 years. So it's cool. And I am just saying I have an... A disgusting flu while I am sitting here at the balcony, you know, outside. It's cold. I love it when it's like this kind of cold. When I can just go outside, you know, in my PJs and be like, it's cold, it's cool. When you're not freezing of cold, but it's it's definitely cold. Like it's mm, some kind of cold, but not too cold. You know what I mean? And it's nice because it's sunny and you feel like, you know, the life is waking up today. Oh, see? Sun. Sun is in here and it's beautiful. I love it because as much as I love when it's gloomy because I do because it's spooky I also love when it's sunny, but not hot I hate it when it's hot but when it's sunny and it's not hot then everything looks so beautiful and looks so lovely You know so I love it when it's sunny but cold at the same time because I love it when it's cold I hate when it's hot and I can admire the Sun and Sun is so beautiful Do you know that Sun is my lucky star actually and my feet are just freezing off because I am the bright person who was no slippers You see in this dirty balcony like Iwa Iwa Jennifer But I love it in here, you know this balcony fresh air Mmm, the runny nose, obviously, you know, I'm going to get inside, get some breakfast. I haven't ate all day yesterday, like, I was not hungry, I was, you know, fasting and all, but I was just, I was just simply not hungry at all. Let's open this, 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 skylight, skylight, it's called skylight. Couldn't make up my mind about what is it called, oh, what a la, 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 nice light. Nice light. I like ginger color, so my hair look more ginger than they usually do right now. What is good, I think. Now, the more sensitive viewers are asked to not watch what is now that I am going to show you because I want to show you how I bury my fishes when they're dead. So this is my palm plant. I know it's not palm, it's dracaena or something like this. And I just bury my fishes in there, you see, and then I just cover it like this. And here they go. Great, great, great. This is how it looks. There's also one more random fact that I would like to share with you. What is I got these from my dad on the night of Halloween. This is so cool, so cute. Harry Potter socks. And we all know socks are my favorite clothing ever. And I love socks and I love Harry Potter. So, so it's cool, lovely. There's also one more thing I got. I got it from AliExpress. It arrived like a couple days ago. And these are those. I mean, seriously, do you see those? Because these are post-it cat cards dropped in boxes. So cute. <gasps> hey. It's alive. Wow. This phone seriously like fell. I don't know. Threw me into this like it was flying like this and then that and it's alive and it survived and it's the screen isn't broken what what something weird has just happened but i'm grateful i'm grateful that will be another phone destroyed you know otherwise eesh sa 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 coconut oil afterwards you know i could melt it actually but i'm not sure whether it is you know better and this film, like, it is easy to apply it, I think, because it's not melted, so. And I'm um, using coconut oil, 
all over my face. I used to use a moisturizer with glycerin, which is made of animal's fat. What is disgusting? So now I'm using coconut oil. Girls and boys, that is a great idea, if I may say so. Mm, and it feels really nice. Mm. 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 Okay, I may stop right now. Oh. Okay, that is it. It has a bit of a weird smell. Like, it doesn't smell with coconut, what is great, because I hate the smell of coconut. But it smells with something scentless that has its scent, you know? I am at the very best of my laziness, you know, taking off the PJs to put on a jumper and leggings, like, what the F, and a bra, and a bra, a life without a bra is a real struggle, let me tell you about that. And, you know, now I'm in the kitchen, about to make myself a tea with lemon and honey. And the thing is, you know, it's it's the thing I always drink when I'm sick or at winter because, because it's cold and it's good to drink something that will warm you up. And this is something that always warms me, warms me up. Jesus, this English. But it's with honey, right? Right. And the problem is, you know, that honey isn't exactly vegan, is it? Because it's made by bees and bees are animals so what i do in this case you know in case of wanting to have myself a tea with honey well what i do is i take the honey and put it into my tea why because this honey is a cruelty free honey it's from happy bees not bought in the market but like from separate breeders who produce the honey on themselves and sell them to like individuals you know so it's a cruelty free honey and that is as much as I am about to say about it. Something weird with the language. But never mind. Heading very, very upstairs with my tea right now. Why is it out of focus all the time? So basically I've got a lot of things to do today, you know? First thing, I have to clean my room because it's just getting disturbing, like really disturbing. I have to take the vacuum cleaner and clean my room thoroughly because it's just disgusting. I don't know what was the last time I vacuumed my room. This is the washing machine going on, I'm sorry. Sorry for the sound effects. Um, but yeah, that is about that. Plus, I've got like a lot of studying. I have a grammar test next week and a Latin test next week. And as much as I am kind, I think, able to manage the drama. <laughs> the grammar. <laughs> okay, uh, I don't think I can do it with Latin. Like, I am green when it comes to Latin. So, we will see about that. vuoi comprare? Quanto vuoi venire? Vuoi comprare questo ombrello rosso? I mean, studying Italian is so much more tempting than studying French and Latin. Che quieres comprar? Quando quieres venir? Quieres comprare este paraguas rojo? And again, studying Spanish is so much more tempting than studying French and Latin. So how was my studying French, you may ask? Well, it was bad because I have been only like studying very little and now I will not be doing that as I am heading for the choir performance that we are having today I told you about and first we have rehearsal then we have performance so I am dressed in my gown you know we always dress in black and have to have like a little red touch so that is me right now mm-hmm so I am in the bus right now as you probably realize and I'm heading for the choir rehearsal I'll be there like an hour earlier a little less than an hour early because that's how the buses drive in here to there on Saturdays so you know it's kind of uncomfortable but I have a book I have a great book to read during like the waiting time for them for the rest of the choir members so you know I will be entertained I hope so here I am out of the bus right now heading to where the rehearsal is and it's super cold and I wanted to take a walk through here because here is one of those most beautiful towns in the world but it's just cold so I will not sitting here reading this it's an awesome book you know this author is amazing like I've never read any book of Don Prawn but this is wow like such a talent you know I am impressed by how much of a great author he really is Okay, we are rehearsed, having a coffee time right now, a beautiful, toxic, instant coffee. Delicious. 
So I am home right now, back from the choir performance, and I just wanted to talk about one more thing. What is anxiety? I got some kind of a gigantic anxiety attack this evening. I I was trying to hide it very, very well. Like I am I am good in hiding anxiety. I got used to it. But I was just so scared because I haven't got any of those anxiety attacks of mine that I used to have a lot, like 24-7. I was in anxiety 24-7, like for years, really. And I was so afraid that it is back, like, why is it back? But it is back sometimes, like, I have those days in which the anxiety is so strong that I am not able to fight it in any possible way. So it was really bad that it happened that the anxiety attacked me today when it was supposed to be such a joyful, lovely evening with my choir people. It was a lovely evening because those are like loveliest people in the world. But I am just saying I was not able to enjoy it as much as I would if I haven't got this anxiety with me. I was just so trapped in my mind, I was so scared, I was so not able to express my emotions, so not able to talk about anything, so not able to look people in the eyes. Like, I got that anxiety attack. I was in the state of me from the past and that was so not fun, that was so not fun. Well, fortunately, some of my theatre friends has came to listen to our performance and it was so great because they were giving me hugs and they were saying such lovely things and they just always know how to make my day, how to cheer me up, how to make me happy. I don't know, they just do. They're such lovely people and they have this energy inside of them and this love. Oh, and that made me feel so great and that honestly made, like, all the rest of the anxiety just go, just go away. Like, they my anxiety repellent, you know, if I may say so. So, last but not least, I just wanted to say it was a great morning today. Like, morning of today was great. I had such an energy. But then the evening came. It was supposed to be great and joyful. But the anxiety attacked me. Though, it has been fighted eventually by love of my lovely people. What is great. And therefore, I would like to encourage you to thumbs this video up if you liked it and stalk me by clicking the subscribe button. Adios!